and welcome to a new weekly. My name's Nicola, this is Mark and this is Poppy Pops in the back. We are on our way to take Poppy back to university. So if you watched last week's weekly, uh, Poppy has been back for a week. She had two weeks off but one week she spent at uni doing work and then we picked her up and brought her home and we've, as you could see last week, we were been busy, haven't we? Busy. <laughs> yeah, it's, it takes us about an hour and a half, so it's not too bad. We're gonna stop to get some lunch because we've not eaten yet. And we also need to do Bobby's food shopping with her. Oh, you, have you written your list yet? Sorry? Have you written your food shopping list yet? No. <laughs> She's got to write a list. And then we're gonna put all our stuff back in and then get home for Saturday night TV. <laughs> yes. That's the plan anyway. A little longer than a few minutes later. Now my job is to sit here while they do millions of trips up and down six flights of stairs with all the stuff. <laughs> they can have that. Good grief, it's windy out there. What storm is it this weekend? I can't remember, it begins with K. Some sort of storm. I just got rid of Poppy's rubbish from the back. They've done it all in one trip, which I think is pretty amazing, seeing as she had 10 million loads of washing that I've done. Five, actually, but... Because <laughs> it's, it's so expensive to do your washing at uni. I think it costs her 10, 10 or 12 pound at time to do her washing. I'm just going to wait for them now, I really need a wee. And then we've got to go to Audi, Iceland and Tesco and then take all that back and unpack all her stuff, have a cup of tea and then we're going to give her a game of pool before we head home. So that is the plan. I hate bringing her back. Poppy, if you're watching this, which I know you will, I hate bringing you back because I just want you to stay with us. <laughs> I, I just hate it and I know you hate coming back as well because you just want to stay with us but it's not forever as the saying goes this too shall pass and we it won't be long before she'll be back home for the summer so that's what I have to keep thinking right pops what are you getting in here not this fruit and veg no <laughs> keep walking keep walking, keep walking. Well, hang rice on, hang on hang on Dad's got has it up. Where are you getting here? Four. Four? Yeah. Four times 45. Bosh. <laughs> Chicken and rice. Staple gym board. Student smoked. meal. One smoked. Double pack or I'll single pack? Well, that's a two in pack. It's only 2.39. Oh. Right, Put one in the freezer. Well, she puts well, both of them in the okay, freezer. <laughs> Do you want this cheese? Is, this is May, that's alright isn't it? Yeah. yeah um, $2.99. Cheese. Cheese. Uh, Poppy's found oh, a fidget. <gasps> a piano! Ah, oh, pia, pia, piano. Go on, choose one, I'll get you one. Oh my god, look, look! Um, Which one do you want? I'll get chucked out of lectures. Yes! <laughs> They're a lot less money than the ones I bought you for Easter. Yeah, but I still love those ones as well. <laughs> She's on a mission. Middle I've aisle. Got I've got <laughs> Middle aisle. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they've got their rugs. Outdoor rugs. What do you want? Sweets? We've got sweets in the car, haven't we? Blackcurrant and licorice. Uh, uh, uh. Right, okay. Oh, she's got her oil. How much was that? Oh, um, one Middle aisles. Do you want a potty, Pops? Um, yeah, what? <laughs> Middle aisle of Audi. I was going to say Sainsbury's in. I don't know where I am. Sauvignon Blanc. Yeah, all of that. <laughs> right, what's next, Pops? Do you need any more kitchen stuff? No? We haven't got much so far, have we? <laughs> she knows what she needs. Four rolls down, you four rolls. I will, just so I don't have to. 
Four toilet rolls, one pound forty-five. How you know you're at student digs? Can you hear that? <laughs> and this is the painting that I did for Poppy that she's got up. Cute. Right. Now let's unpack all of this. It's a rematch of Paul. Did you win last time, Mark? Uh, yeah. The reason they're playing with one cue is because the other one's just got a bit of plastic on the end and no chalk bit. Has anyone potted one yet? No. Shall we put that thing on here two hours later? Come on, Pops. Put one down. morning happy Sunday fun day it is very sunny but still very windy out there <laughs> I think it's called storm Kathleen I think that's the name of the storm that we've got at the moment so Mark's just nipped off to Audi to get us a chicken for dinner because I did a Tesco order and I prefer to get my meat from Audi because it's cheaper and better I think so he's gone off to do that and he had to drop in Holly's lunch to her because she forgot to take it to work. Then we're going to go out for a little drive and then we're going to go and see Holly at work. But first of all, while Mark's out, I am going to take down the Easter things because it is no longer Easter and I've got to fill the bird feed up because they're looking for it. <laughs> Last look at the shelf of dreams for 2024 because that's now going to go. The bits on the tree. Lucy Rabbit, have you got any eggs left? Yes, you have. So I need to put them in Mark's... Look at Mark's stash now. He's got Easter eggs there as well in Mark's snack pile. And then this end needs sorting out as well. So I have zero energy <laughs> after taking Poppy home to uni yesterday and I need to sort of just pace myself today because I've still got a bad shoulder so after hurting it when I did that shoulder roll I'm not obviously going to do it now just a shoulder roll exercise it still hurts that's like two weeks later and then it, I made it worse because I picked my dad up with my sister I got under this arm and she got under the other one to lift him up to put him on a pillow because he's got a sore on his bum from sitting and he was in a lot of pain so we put him on a pillow but to do that we had to lift him because he hasn't got any energy to lift himself and that then redid my shoulder in so that's lovely I was going to phone the doctors about it tomorrow but I thought what are they going to do they're just going to say oh I'm going to physio and then he's just going to give me a bunch of exercise. I thought, oh, I can't be bothered. Can't be bothered. So I'm just going to hope that it will get better on its own and carry on. Actually, next week, um, Poppy has done a workout plan for me for like a week. And I'm going to see how I get on with it. So it's like short workouts every day during the week. And then the weekends I have off because she said it's important to have two rest days. Because she's doing sports science at uni. And she's doing about chronic illness. So it's interesting. I can give her my views and she can give me what she's learnt. So that's really good. But what I'll do is I'll, each day I'll tell you what I've done workout wise. And maybe I'll do a Wednesday upload if anyone's interested in what I'm doing. Um, just let me know in the comments and I can do that at some point. Anyway. I better get on with taking these Easter decorations down because Mark won't be that long.
here we are again going to see Holly Lolly <laughs> I just said to Mark this is why I had a stick made for each side so that when one side's bad I can use the other Mark's gone for <laughs> a curried, what's it? Curried carrot soup. Nick's having the same. No, I'm not. What? An onion barge on top. That's what sold it, the onion barge. <laughs> I'm just having a tea cake. Nice. <laughs> you can have that. I will. <laughs> This massive piece of cake for Mark and this little bit for me to try. Wow. What flavour is it? Hazelnut. Yeah, coffee and hazelnut. Coffee and hazelnut, your favourite. Happy Manic Monday. Got just out of the shower. I guess I'm going to have to go make up free today. I was drying myself and I could see a shadow of something flitting around and I was like, what is that? Is it moth? Flipping huge hornet. I'll see if I can show you. I've shut the door to keep it in and it's on this light. Let me see if I can focus in on it. There. Can you see that? Sorry, I try and keep my hands still. Look at the size of that. It's a light. Look, look. That was flying above my head. I've opened the window, but it's only it's only a little window. So I don't know if it's gonna go out or not, and I've got nothing to catch it with. And I do my makeup in the bathroom, as you know, so I guess I'm going makeup free today. But what I did want to show you is this. I don't know if I've shown this before, but this is a wedge to go in between your legs like so at night and that's how I've been sleeping for the past few weeks to help my hips and it does help so if you have hip pain I thoroughly get recommend getting one of these it's not the most thingy to sleep with because if you're like me and you turn over like obviously you've got to turn over with the thing between your legs and it's quite a, a thing but <laughs> it does it can zip off as well to wash the cover but I believe I got this from Amazon I'll tag it in the description just in case you you fancied getting one but you literally just put it between your legs and sleep with it you could do the same thing with a pillow but I think this is more comfortable because it's molded each side so you could fit your legs more comfortably around it um, and this is the only thing that has stopped my hips being absolute agony at night I mean, they still hurt, but they're not as bad as they were. I mean, on, honestly, it was on a record scale. So, I don't know what I filmed yesterday. <laughs> it all seems a bit of a blur. But yesterday afternoon, Mark and I just sat and chilled and watched... A, we watched a bit of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory that was on the telly. We watched some things that we'd recorded. And we just had a chill out, really. And I think I needed that after the busy week with Pops. But also, because I don't know if I mentioned this yesterday, and if I did, I, I can cut this out. But my shoulder pain went to my neck. So it went from my shoulder up to my neck. And I can still feel it today, but yesterday was unbearable. You know, almost like when you slept funny and you get a sore neck. It was like that times 100. It was awful. And I spent the whole day putting my BioFreeze roller on it. I had an Aproxen, I had my heat pad on it, because I tried the, you know the wheat germ bag I got, the lavender one from Amazon. I tried that, but it wasn't hot enough, because you can only do that for 80 seconds in the microwave. So in the end, I put my heat pad on it, and I just had that on all night, and it was just so, so painful. And I thought, how on earth am I gonna sleep? Because, obviously your neck is your head's on the pillow but I did sleep on and off it was a problem but you know this morning it's better than it was but it's still there 
and I'm also starting, I will show you, that workout week that um, Poppy did for me. Let me just get it up. And we, I think it's abs today. Workout plan. Monday, ab workout. Yeah. So today is abs. So I'm going to do a yes to next workout where they're sitting in a chair doing the abs. I'm going to do that in a little bit. I've also got some of those flowers that I bought yesterday. I want to plant them today. And just a couple of bits of pieces. I've got to ring and book the dentist because last time I was supposed to go, they cancelled on me. So I need to rebook that. Just little odd jobs I've got to do um, around the bungalow. But yeah, I don't really need makeup on because I'm not going anywhere. But it's just like I always say to you, I always put makeup on because it makes me feel a bit more alive. So if I'm feeling poorly and or in pain, then you look in the mirror and you see this and you're like, yeah, <laughs> look at the eyes, look at the eyes. My eyes always tell a story of how I'm feeling. <laughs> say no more. Anyway, I'm going to well, I'm going to leave Mr. Hornet in there with the window open. and But he seems to like that light on the ceiling, the spotlight. I don't know why. But if he hasn't gone by tonight, I'll try and get Mark to sort it out. <laughs> oh, good grief. I really don't like looking at myself when I don't have makeup on. But the Hornet is still in the bathroom. It's still there. It's still on that light. And I can't stand on a chair to get a cup and get it out so I'm gonna to have to wait for Mark but anyway <laughs> makeup free oh, I have just made a cup of tea and I'm just heading outside to put them plants in that I bought yesterday so let's go and do that together shall we and because I think it's supposed to rain later of course it is Right, let's choose which three. Look at the pretty fuchsias I've bought. I love fuchsias, they're one of my favourite. Look how pretty that one is. That's Annabelle. I want some trailing. And some Winston Churchill, that one is. And some uprights in each one. That one's Southgate. I've got, I think I've got all different ones. Oh no, I've got two Southgates, so I obviously like that one. So I'm going to choose two, what's this one, is that trailing? Uh, right, let me sort these out and I'll get back to you. Okay, I've watered them this morning. So that's, is that the trailing one? No, that's an upright. So that can go more in the middle. And then... This is trailing. So we put that near the edge so it'll trail over. And then is this upright? Yeah, I think this is an upright. Okay. Like that. And they will spread out as they grow. I just need to put the compost in around the edge of them apparently this is the best compost when you're potting, which is John Inns number three, because I asked the man in the garden centre. So I'm just putting the compost now in between the fuchsias, and then I'll push them in so to make sure that they're fully bedded. Right, they're all done. I've got to fill up that cup with some water actually. And now I've done these ones over here. So they're all ready, I need to give them a water. But now I've put some compost in these two pots. These were given to us by the vets where Einstein was put to sleep. They sent a lovely card to us 
and they've given us these sunflower seeds so I'm just going to plant them in these two pots and uh, hopefully they might grow you never know you're supposed to keep them inside I think first so I might put them, if I've got something to stand them in, I might put them on the windowsill. Oh, hang on. <laughs> so, this is in, these would be in memory of Einstein. Let's see if any of these grow. Put some in here as well. We'll just see what comes out. Give them a water as well. And then if they grow to be anything, I can put them into the garden then, you see. Tea's gone cold. <laughs> Typical, isn't it? While I'm out here, I thought I'd show you some of our plants and things that are coming out because it's so pretty at the moment. I mean, look at, look at this. I did this last year and it's an absolute picture. How pretty are these? They're absolutely gorgeous. And then these are I believe irises and they're just starting to come out my mum and dad gave me these you're supposed to plant them just lay them on top it's really weird but yeah can you see these dark colors that are just about to spring out so that's really lovely and then over here we've got see all the shoots coming up on my oh I always forget the name of it mum will remember I'll have to write it down because I always forget. And this one, look at this. I don't think I've ever seen it looking so beautiful. It is absolutely stunning. Again, no idea what they are. I'm going to have to get the names of these plants and write them down in a book because I always forget when mum tells me. And then this one I had to rescue last night because we had the storm and this broke so I've had to fix it because it's had to be tied to the fence because it's so strong and so heavy but look how pretty it is isn't it beautiful and now this one's just starting to come out here and I've got loads and loads of buds look on my clematis and there's another one that's growing up here that's just starting to grow round this one's just starting to come out i have got to cut this back that's another job for another day though i should have done that in the autumn and i forgot um but yeah the clematis looks like it's got lots of nice buds on it we have got a bit of a fence issue in the storm this kept coming out it can be knocked back in with nails so mark's got to do that at some stage uh, and then when the weather warms up I'll get the bar ready for the spring and summer or well, mainly the summer we don't really use it in the spring but at the moment we're using the garage more but yeah this this is just amazing oh we've got these as well down here look how pretty these are oh the buzzy bee over there is loving that that's good I don't know why my this has got so small <laughs> used to be taller than that and the poppies are just about to come out little yellow flowers down there still got a few tulips but they're sort of ending now and then this is all coming to life again the roses will start to bloom soon I had this one from my dad and my stepmom when we moved in so that's quite a special rose to me but yeah this one here look at the look at it look at the color of it it's like lime green it's amazing and that comes out in beautiful white the scent on this is amazing beautiful white flowers and the bees go crazy for it so uh, when that comes out yeah but the slabs are still looking good down there I have still yet to jet wash that area I'm thinking of asking Mark if he wants to do some jet washing with me this weekend because this needs jet washing as does this as do all these otherwise they get really slippery well not so much this but this gets slippery these ones and there's my little fairy garden I want some more things this year to put on this wall so I'm looking out for that when I go out to garden centres and B&M and places just things to decorate this wall with 
but there we go everything's springing to life but just look at that look it's just amazing isn't it <laughs> Artie's come outside for a bit of sunshine haven't you Art? Hey, <laughs> is it nice in the sun? <laughs> this is his outdoor enclosure in case you're new to the channel and I thought as it was a nice sunny day I'll let him stretch his legs outside he loves it right good morning it is Tuesday Tuesday in it and I'm not ready yet I just <laughs> look at my hair <laughs> I've just come out of the shower so that's why I'm a bit red um, I was just trying this dress on that I bought in next the other day and I really really love it I think it's just so comfortable and the perfect length for the summer it's got pockets it's got pockets which is always a win and I love the colour, the fabric, I love everything about it. So this one is a definite win. But I just wanted to show you before I get changed. Because I'm not wearing this today because it's not, it's not warm enough yet for this. But I do really like it. So good. Hello again. This is I. <laughs> I've just had my nails done. Um, I'll show you in a minute. Hang on, I'm trying to get the seatbelt. It's gone a bit do lally and had to get a little bit of shopping i can show you what i got there's nothing exciting mark's not very well today he's got an upset stomach so he's taken some emoji yes nails let me show you so i've gone oh it looks very more blue in the on the camera than it is in real life but it's blue and sparkly and i really love it so as soon as i saw the color i thought yes i want that one Right, I'm now off to see Dad. I know he's not good. Um, I think he's coming towards the end. So he's jerking, his body's jerking a lot. They're, he's had so many falls, so they're putting him in a different room with a crash mat. I don't know much more than that, so I'm gonna go and see him now. I'm gonna have my lunch before I go in. I've brought it with me. I made myself a bagel last night, because <laughs> otherwise I won't get to eat till God knows when again. So I'm going to go and do that now, drive there, see him. And then when I get back, I'll show you the bits that I've bought. But it's not very exciting. It's just shopping. But I like to be nosy and see what other people have bought in the supermarket. So I will show you and I'll report back on how dad is. But I'm not thinking it's going to be very good. Right, I'm back home from seeing dad. It wasn't good. It wasn't good, he's not good. He's moaning about his mouth again. There's something going on with his mouth. And he was trying to eat his lunch, but he couldn't. And he was just crying, like not crying, but crying out in pain. And he asked me for a drink. So I gave him a drink and it all just fell out of his mouth because it was so painful. So I managed to speak to the nurse and they're trying to sort something out, but it's so difficult because not like they don't want to know but it feels like because he's near the end of his life there's no point sorting his mouth out but there is because he's in pain he's uncomfortable he needs help otherwise he's not even going to drink but she's put him on assisted eating and drinking now which i'm happy about because then they will see how much pain he's in with his mouth and they might get something sorted out anyway i'll just quickly show you what i got at tesco's i've got these um sub rolls white sub rolls that i thought would be nice because mark asked me to get him some soup in case he fancies it later and i thought this rolls would go nicely with that this is the laundry cleanser i use i use this when i am washing bedding towels and mark's work clothes um just to get that antibacterial in there um, I got another soda water that I mix with my white wine when I have it the weekend. This is the hair gel that Mark uses. It's literally a pound. So I had to get one for the cupboard. I got a couple of things for Poppy. Um, so I got her a Beano because she loves a Beano. And I also got her some crispy coated peanuts in sweet chilli. So I thought she'll like those. That's one bag done. 
and then I got because I had to get myself something for dinner tonight because Mark obviously won't have soup if anything so I got a piece of salmon I love salmon and Mark hates salmon so <laughs> I was like I'm having salmon and I've got sweet potato fries to go with them they've got to go in the freezer actually they're feeling a bit defrosted this is the soup I got for Mark chicken and mushroom that's what he asked for got some garlic granules which is good to add to the cooking and I've got some kiwis I love a kiwi and I always forget to buy them and also they're very very good for you they've got so much vitamin C they've got more vitamin C in one of these than an orange so if you want a, a good vitamin filled fruit go with a kiwi so I'm going to enjoy them when they've ripened up a bit and then I picked up two of my soups which is a tomato and a chicken they're the Weight Watchers ones which is what I really enjoy because I like the size of the tin they're just right for me if I was to try and have a tin of this size I wouldn't manage it all but this smaller size let me compare them for you can you see it's just right anyway that's it what have I got on my list to do this afternoon um, oh I've got to get the vlog ready to go up tomorrow the Wednesday upload I've got to put the rubbish out I'm gonna sit and chill I might watch I'm re-watching Bridgerton again <laughs> because the new series comes out on May the 16th and I just can't wait so I thought I'm just gonna re-watch Bridgerton again I don't care <laughs> so that's what I've been doing so I might watch some more of that and um, chill out for a bit because I was talking to my sister about the whole dad thing. I phoned her and let her know how he was. And I said, I just couldn't stay there to, to sit there. He didn't know I was there, right? I could have been anyone. He just, he was in his own world. He was trying to reach out and grab things that weren't there. He was hallucinating. And for me, just to see him, like, not even know that I'm there and also to be in that much pain, I would, I, it was just like, torture and like my sister said no one should judge you for how you're dealing with it because everyone deals and wants to do things in their own way and for me going to see dad at the moment is destroying me because I don't want to see him like it and my stepmom's going every day and that's her choice and I understand it's a bit different because that's her husband but for me it's just torture just seeing him like it and he's having good care so I will I'm not not going to see him anymore but it's just really really hard when I do go and see him happy towel wash Wednesday towels are on at the moment I've just got one load here that needs hanging out I'm going to risk it because it's sunny at the moment it's supposed to rain later about four o'clock I think so that's fine so plan today is I am going to meet my mum and dad at the garden centre, of course we are, and have lunch. So it'll be our first time like having lunch out. I know we met them last week for golf, but this is the first time I will have lunch with them in quite a while out. So that's nice because obviously mum's been quite poorly after having her reversal up for her stoma. So let's go and have lunch with them today and I'll take you around the garden centre. We'll have a look at all the bits and pieces. I want to get a couple more plants as well for the garden. So I'm going to do that. I just wanted to show you some glasses that I've made. I'm not sure if I've shown you two of them yet, but I'll show them again anyway. <laughs> so these are the glasses. This is the one I made last night. I get all my ideas off Pinterest and you know the the, uh, the seagulls out of finding nemo and they go mine 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 well they're going wine 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 <laughs> and then we've got wine on the bottom <laughs> so i made that one i love it and i'm going to make some disney ones as well so i've got some um mini mouse ones to do i think and then this one is needs the tape removing from the rim and I've put a but little butterfly there, a little ladybird there. But this is so pretty, isn't it? Like a garden design. There's the underneath for you. 
and I do spray all my glasses with finishing spray which is why I tape up the rim so that you're not putting your mouth on the finishing spray <laughs> but yeah I love that one that's my favorite and then this I really love as well it's like a cherry blossom design I did this with paint this one these two are using my acrylic pens but this one I did using paint so the stem is like a um I sponged that and then this is all painted it's mainly just to give to friends and family as presents to be honest but it's it's a good pastime I enjoy it but yeah this is my favorite <laughs> wine 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 <laughs> here we are we've got our tea mum's just saying how much she's done you've been going to lunches you've been driving the car doing your hair yeah. Loads of things. Yeah. It's yeah. good. Gardening. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I've got artists and dandelions. dandelions. Excellent. In the car. Yeah, he's running low on this. Well, I haven't got many. Yeah, there's just okay. bits and a few leaves that I've got left in the garden. He'll love it. I just took them. He'll love it. So I've gone for a tuna melt when it comes with chips. Mum's gone for just cheese. <laughs> Dad's gone for a jacket with chilli and cheese. <laughs> But it looks like just a jacket with cheese with chilli in a pot. <laughs> but it looks nice. Very pretty. Do they smell? No. It's pretty though. Uh, 249 on the bottom there. 250 pounds. <laughs> Magnolia. No, it's snowflake. It's cool. You bought me one of these, didn't you? Did yeah, it's in the side. Yeah. Pink yeah. skyrocket. It's not so nice, is that? But this is what we want to do. We want to plant out. Yeah, plants. lovely. And we could put a few sempre vines in this and they cost you five hundred pounds. <laughs> I love these. Fifty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's not bad. That's lovely, isn't it? Really pretty. It's probably one. Yeah, it's one, one size. size. Yeah. Nice for the One summer. Size fits all. Yeah. Pretty sunglasses. Pink. Nice. Beaded bags. <laughs> Handbag strap. Yep. Yeah. She has. How pretty are those hair clips? Sixteen pounds for two. So pretty. That's really pretty. An anklet. Like that. The displays are really nice, aren't they? In here. Oh, they always do it lovely. I think when you come in, it's really lovely. Always a big lantern there, Mum. No, I've got too big. <laughs> What's this scented candle? Grapefruit and lemongrass. Eleven ninety nine. Oh yeah. Can't open it to smell it. Holly would like it, but I probably wouldn't. No, it's Holly smell. Holly would love that. These are really pretty. Two ninety nine. Now that's better price. There's glasses over there that cost thirty five pounds. Oh, that's a nice glass, isn't it? Two ninety nine. That one. Yeah, that's pretty. I'd need it bigger than that for me Bacardi and Coke. 
Yeah, that's it. That's your Bacardi. That's me Bacardi and Coke size. <laughs> you said you'd gone off lanterns. Yeah, isn't that pretty though? It is pretty, yeah. yeah. Really nice, wouldn't Leaves. it, with seeing that design. You're seeing the gold coming through as well, it yeah. looks like. On your table when you're out on the cup of tea. <laughs> Lemon and white chocolate biscuits. Four ninety nine. It's not too bad. That's a nice present, isn't it? That's lovely. Don't know if they appreciate it. It's a Friday, though, would they? Probably not. Uh, we've got some reduced, uh, reduced. Oh, from Fondant Easter eggs. Yeah, and this prosecco. Now fifteen. That's all right. Fifteen pounds. Right. Yeah, I'm home now. The only thing I bought. I bought two tiny little plants. These were like 160 each, something like that, that my mum recommended because I'm going to put these in two pots outside. I'll show you in a minute. And these, I got these beads, glass beads, because my sister said to put them in the bird bath for the bees to be able to drink out of them. So I'm gonna do that as well. But that's literally <laughs> all I got. But they're so cute, aren't they? Look how pretty that is. Really pretty. So I'm going to put these in in a minute. So there you go. Now the bees can have a drink. <laughs> right, it's just starting to rain, so I thought I'd show you the the pots that I'd put these little flowers in. You can see why I only needed these little tiny ones because they're small pots. But I think they look they look fine in there. And look, from the other day when I showed you these irises, they've bloomed. <laughs> they've come out, well, almost all of it. They've still got the top bit to come open, but isn't that amazing, just from the other day? Good morning, happy weird Thursday. <laughs> It's gonna be a weird day. Let's hope not. Anyway, I'm gonna go off to Audi in a minute with Mark. Mark's gonna help me do the food shopping before he goes to work. So I thought I would show you my outfit because I'm really like loving this. I put this together. So this is my little top that I got from the charity shop in Frinton one or two years ago now. And I'm still loving it. <laughs> I'm loving it and this cardigan I got from Shein well I actually got it as a top so I do wear it sometimes as a top that you've probably seen me in vlogs wear it like that but let me step back a bit um I thought oh let me pair this floral top with this because the colors like the pinks in them really go let me go a bit closer so you can see the different colors and I really love it <laughs> And I think it's nice when, when you find a new outfit that you've got from your wardrobe, like that you put together, I think it, it sort of makes you feel like, oh, you know, I've got a new outfit here, but using my old clothes. And I'm gonna try and do that more often. So watch this space. <laughs> I will try my best. I've just teamed it with my navy leggings from Primark and my Primark Converse. Everyone compliments me on my, my Primark Converse and I love them and they're very comfortable but I wore them to the farm last week and I could feel every single stone through the, the sole. So the soles aren't very thick in these. So yeah, just bear that in mind if you wanted to. I mean, these are old but I don't even know if they still sell them but I'm sure they sell similar but you can see how thin the sole is so they that you do feel a lot through them my yoga teacher years ago that I had she said that you're supposed to feel the ground on your feet she said shoes are, are made too well now that you don't feel anything and therefore you're not connecting with the earth you might think that's a load of old baloney, but I do agree with that to an extent. Obviously, it's painful when you're treading on stones and you can feel it through your feet, <laughs> but you are connecting with the ground. Um, so, yeah, I just thought that was an interesting fact. Anyway, I am going to blot my lipstick because I haven't done that yet and I can feel it. 
and then I am going to head off to Audi with Mark and I will show you what I've got when I get back. They do that day. Right, <laughs> I'm back. I'm absolutely exhausted. <laughs> I had quite a good amount of energy this morning. When I woke up, I thought, I feel not too bad, you know? I, I feel like I've, I've got a bit of energy, which is very rare for me. And now that's been taken. And all I want to do is sit down and watch Bridgerton. <laughs> but what I've got to do is put this shopping away. But before I do that, I can show you. I thought I haven't really touched much this week on my fibromyalgia. I try not to say too much about it because I know there's people on here that watch my weekly vlogs that don't have fibromyalgia, therefore it will be boring just to listen to me drone on about it. But then there's a lot of people on here that do have fibromyalgia that like to hear me talk about it because it gives them the feeling that they're not alone and I totally get it. So fibro wise this week, if you're not interested you can skip this bit, <laughs> I won't talk for long. Fibro wise I've had, my energy's been like this, so like yesterday when I went to the garden centre with mum and dad, my energy was sort of medium and then as soon as we'd finished it hit rock bottom and I just ended up on the sofa watching Bridgerton again. So my energy has been like like I said, this morning it was good and now it's rock bottom again. It's been like this. And I think a lot of that is to do with stress of going through with my dad at the moment. And also the weather. Because today it's going to get up to 19 degrees, but cloudy. And it's really humid. When we came out of Aldi, it was so humid. The air just hit me. I was like, oh. So I think that's got a lot to do with my energy as well. Pain wise, not too not too bad. I'm suffering still with my shoulder and I'm thinking I might go to a chiropractor to try and sort that out, but I am scared to go back to a chiropractor because I went to one about a year or so ago for my I think it was the same shoulder and he basically commented on my weight and told me to go on the keto diet because it will cure my fibromyalgia. I can't do a keto diet because keto is like cutting out your carbs and introducing a lot of fat and I tried that quite a few years ago and I got really sick on it with my IBS so can't do a keto diet but he kept banging on about my weight and it made me feel so crap that I thought I'm never going back to a chiropractor again. But my dad has been, not my dad that's in the care home, my dad must the stepdad has been to a chiropractor um, quite recently locally that he says is very good so I think I might go to that one because my shoulder isn't getting better and I'm still doing that workout thing plan that Poppy's done for me so do let me know if you want me to do that as a vlog like what I do in a week and today is a small walk so what I thought I'd do is put the shopping away or after I've shown you edit this week and then go for the short walk because I'll have had a long sit down but as I'm doing exercise I need to know what I can and can't do with this shoulder and what's going on with it really so I have got to do that but my fibro pains usually come more in the evening during the day I can get them on and off periodically like going anywhere but I suffer a lot in the evening, especially if I've been doing things. So anyway, that's my fibro chat for the week. <laughs> right, let's show you what I've got. So shall we start over here? We've got these bananas, which Mark likes them like this. He does not like them like this. Now, someone sent me on Instagram a recipe for some banana oat cookies. So I think I might be making them at the weekend with these. And... Just use these for Mark now because he won't like them like this. Uh, I got some lemons because my lemon and ginger needs doing soon, my drink. Got some golden delicious apples. I don't usually get the golden delicious but they were on offer for 69p. I can't eat apples but Mark eats them. And then this was on offer, the scent boosters from Mrs Hinch. It's the Vacay Vibes, Orange Blossom and Coastal 
cypress it really so is it cypress yeah it's really really lovely and they were on offer so i got those i only buy them when they're on offer and these are the wash capsules that i use i got some friday night snacks for me and mark so i got some salt and vinegar pop chips and some nacho cheese tortilla chips new potatoes old potatoes jacket potatoes we were out of all our potatoes <laughs> Got some toilet rolls, kitchen roll. These are the drinks that Mark's enjoying at the moment. He loves a pale ale. He likes pale ale more than like beer and lager at the moment. So we've been getting these. They're not too bad. I think they're three pounds something for four. And then that one is my favorite that I've been drinking lately, which is Pinot Grigio Sauvignon. So it's a mixture of the two in one and it's really lovely. This is Mark's Sunday night drink. A glass or two of red he loves. I don't like red wine at all. And then I've got a Prosecco as well because Holly's coming to stay now. She's coming next week because Louis is going travelling. Um, so she is joining Louis on the travels in about a month's time. So Louis is going for a month with a friend. And then Holly's joining them in about a month but she's staying with us for a month first so yes we've got that coming up so i've got some sweet corn for the guinea pigs because they love it and some more romaine lettuce because that's what they eat and Artie eats that as well the tortoise i got a right stock up on my candles today this is divine this was um in the offer section in the middle aisle oud and vetiva Number 34, it just smells divine. This was 3 dollars and it's quite a big candle, as you can see. This one was 2 dollars soft linen, and it smells divine. That's a good one for the haul. And then I got these two little ones. These were £1.69 each, which I thought was such a good price. I got these for our bedroom, because we have to light a candle in there every night as well, as you know, because I can't bear cooking smells. Part of my sensory problem with fibro. These are what I get Mark, um, he has them in his snack basket down by his chair and reaches through for them at night. Pepsi Max for Mark and Holly. Lemon and, these are a knockoff of those Fanta lemon ones, you know. And Mark loves those, so he has these. These are for me. Right, let's go over to this side. Mark's sandwich for work tomorrow. I always buy a cheat sandwich on a Friday. These are my chocolate puddings. I absolutely love them. Mark likes the rice pots. I don't. <laughs> so he's got an apple and strawberry one. Some seedless grapes, cucumber, celery, pineapple for me, which I'm gonna enjoy with lunch. Some salad, some spinach, bacon, Corned beef for Mark's sandwiches. I love smoked mackerel. Absolutely love it. And we've got it for a dinner next week. We have it with salad, coleslaw and new potatoes. And it is delicious. Red pepper for the guineas. Carrots. Bread. Sausages. I get the 45% reduced fat ones. Lean minced beef. I've got two of them because we've got a lasagna that Holly wants me to cook. And a cottage pie coming up. And then we've got the lasagna sauces, some cheese, some butter. I got some frozen mash for the top of the cottage pie because, as you know, I can't do mash or anything like that. So that just goes in the microwave and you stir it and plonk it on. Frozen peas. This is what we have for dinner tonight. Two lemon and herb tempura bassa fillets. They are delicious. I've tried the lemon and herb and the salt and pepper ones. Um, the lemon and herb are best by far. <laughs> Baked beans. Oh, this ham looks so nice. Look how nice that is, unless you're a vegetarian. This is for a dinner next week. We're having ham, own chips and eggs and peas. And then I needed some more window and glass cleaner. And then lastly, we've got the coleslaw that goes with the mackerel. There we go. That's my shopping haul. <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed that. Now is the fun job of putting it away, but don't worry because I've got my podcast on to get me through. 
and I've got some prawns out today as well so I'm going to have a prawn salad for my lunch with my pineapple yum 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 okay I've just been sitting here for the last two and a half hours editing try not to fall asleep I sometimes in the past while I've been editing I've nodded off <laughs> and then I've thought I'm going to have to go back because I don't know what I've just watched and need to edit then I might have left something in <laughs> I also wanted to thank everybody for your support with my dad I have if you follow me on Instagram and Facebook I have put a few things on there this week about not coping very well with the whole situation with my dad and the DMs I've been receiving have been so supportive so if that's you thank you very much because it doesn't go unnoticed and I do feel very supported so that's lovely and thank you then I just wanted to add that in I'm going to leave it here for this week hope you've enjoyed it it's been very plant and garden based heavy but that's okay <laughs> I think <laughs> I've had some plant therapy this week <laughs> If you've made it this far, well done you. Let's let's think of a thing you could put in the comments if you've made it this far. I'm going to put flowers because I know then that you've managed to last this long. <laughs> and well done if you have. Because when I look at my analytics, is that the right word? For my YouTube, it says most people only watch your your videos for like nine minutes and I'm like nine minutes they're like nearly an hour long <laughs> but most of you that comment tell me that you do watch it to the end so and you like my long vlogs that's why I make them long anyway I'm rambling on I hope you've enjoyed it whatever it is give it a thumbs up leave me a nice comment with the word flowers in there somewhere so I shall see you next Wednesday for another upload. Have a lovely weekend. Take care. Bye.